Good morning, my fellow friends, my fellow believers, my fellow Americans. It is a great opportunity, it's a wonderful privilege to be in the studios of the evangelist ministry and preach the gospel in this Sunday morning to all of you, my friends. From the studios of the Evangelist Ministry, we spread the good news about Jesus Christ and His saving grace. Our mission, the mission of this ministry, is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. The topic of this morning, of this Sunday morning, is equipped to serve the good news. If we open in the book of 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10 to the 17th, the Bible says, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good as to us of the manifold grace of God. If anyone speak, let him speak as the oracle of God. If anyone minister, let him to do it as with the ability which God supplies. That in all this, God might be glorified through Jesus Christ. To whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, do not think it is strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange things happening to you. But rejoice to extend that you partake of Christ's suffering. That when His glory is revealed, you might also be glad with exceeding joy. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, blessed are you for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. In their part, <clears throat> he is blasphemed, but in your part, he is glorified. But let none of you suffer of mourning, a thief, or evildoer, or as busybody in other people's matters. Yet, if anyone suffer as, as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. But let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? <clears throat> My dear friends, <clears throat> I believe so this, this, this Sunday morning. Each of you, or each of us, should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. <clears throat> As faithful steward of God's grace in its various forms. If anyone is speak, they should do so as one who speaks the very word of God. If anyone serves, if anyone serves, they should do so with the strength God provides. Amen. So that in all things God might be praised through Jesus Christ. To Him be the glory and the power forever and ever. As each one has received a gift, <clears throat> minister it to one another. This is what the Bible said. As a faithful store of the manifold grace of God. 
The Lord has given an amazing responsibility to those whom he has saved. I mean, everyone who has been saved. He has called believers to be his servants and accomplish his work here in this earth. This Sunday morning, just think about how remarkable this is. The Almighty God, who needs nothing and can do all things, actually invites you and I to share in what he is doing to draw people to himself. Think about that. God gave us the opportunity to be partaker of his ministry. This is what we're talking about this morning. Let's think about the almighty God who needs nothing and can do all things actually invite us to share in what he is doing to draw people to himself. Let's think about that. How big privilege we have. So my dear friends, actually invite us to share in what he's doing to draw people to himself, to bring his children to a spiritual maturity and to care for those in need. Wow. Praise be the Lord. Now let's think about my friends. Being a servant of the Lord. Being a servant of the good Lord requires that we put ourselves under his authority. Listen to his instruction. Listen to his instruction. And carry out his commands. Wow. Let's think about that. In our strength, this tag is beyond our ability. Don't forget that. In our strength, in my strength, this task is impossible. It's beyond our ability. But when we are walking obediently with him, he supplied all that we need, my friends. My dear friends, our Heavenly Father never give assignment for which he will not equip his children. Don't forget it. The faith, without faith, is impossible to please God. Without faith, it's impossible to serve the good Lord, my friends. Have that in mind. So, my dear friends, the Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father, never gives assignment for which He will not equip His children. <clears throat> Ephesians 6.11 said, <laughs> look at what happened. Ephesians 6, 11 said, put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wills of the devil. Wow. Let's think about that. He begins by developing Christ-like character with, between us, my friends. Then as we cooperate with his spirit, my dear friends, God transformed a self-centered heart into the heart of a servant, a servant who delights in meeting the needs of others, my friends. You see, in the book of Acts 1, 8, say, but you, I mean, you and I, the Bible says, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witness to me. In Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria, and to the end of this world. Wow. My dear friends, he begins by developing Christ-like character within us. Then, as we cooperate with the Holy Spirit, God transforms a self-centered heart into the heart of a servant who delights in meeting the needs of all. So, my dear friends, the further enable Christian to do his work, 
The Lord gives them a spiritual gifts. God gives us a spiritual gifts, which are to be used for the benefit of others. When God gave me a gift, I have to use it for the benefit of others. God gave me the gift to preach, and now I have to preach because it's a benefit for the whole world. So, my dear friends, the Lord gives them, give all the spiritual gifts which are to be used for the benefits of others. Let's see what Ephesians 4, 11 and 12 said. And he himself gave sons to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers for the equipment of the saint, for the work of the ministry. You see, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. My dear friends, with a specific assignment in mind for each believer, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit bestows the precise gift needed to accomplish God's purposes. Because every one of us, every one of us, we have a special gift. My gift could be different than your gift. And your gift is different than mine. But my dear friend, with a specific assignment in mind for each believer, the Holy Spirit best taught the precise gift need to accomplish God's purpose. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God and it begins with us first. Let's think about it. The judgment will start right in church first, my friends. Let's think about that for the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God and it begin with us first. What will be the end of those, of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Let's think about that. If you don't obey the call, where the judgment start, my friends. My dear friends, this Sunday morning, we can get it to a conclusion, very great conclusion. With the conclusion, we can say this, my friend, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as a faithful servant of manifold grace of God. But my dear friends, being a servant of the Lord requires that we put ourselves under His authority, listening to His instruction. Let's think about that. Instruction and carry out His commandments. In conclusion, the invitation is issue. The strength and ability are provided. All that is need are some willing servant with a willing heart to participate in the most exciting adventure in this earth, serving the good Lord Jesus Christ. Join with the Lord in His Word, use your spiritual gift, and make a great impact for Jesus Christ in this world. My dear friends, I have nothing else that tell you this morning, this Sunday morning, God bless you. God bless you, my friends. And equip you, sir, to serve God. It's a very important. God bless you and God bless America because this America is a wonderful place to live. God bless America and God bless you God bless America, because America is the America of my dream. God bless you all, and I see you next time.